Fox News poll, two-thirds favor deporting migrants who live in the U.S. illegally. Support for allowing illegal migrants who have jobs to stay continues to decrease. At rallies across the country, former President Donald Trump has pledged to enact mass deportations of illegal immigrations, some things he vowed to do during his first term but never fully realized. The latest Fox News poll released Thursday finds two-thirds of voters favor such a policy, exactly where it was last December, and up 15 points since the question was first asked in 2015. Nearly one third opposes mass deportations. Since 2015, support for deporting those living in the U.S. illegally is up across the board, but most notably among non-white voters, plus 24 points favor Republicans, plus 21 points favor rural voters, plus 20, plus 20 plus support urban voters, plus 19, and men, six plus 16. Democrats are also more likely to vote to favor this now but by a smaller 80-point margin. At the same time, support for allowing illegal immigrants with jobs to stay in the country and apply for legal status is decreasing. 58% of voters favor allowing those with jobs to stay, down 4 points from last year and 10 points since 2015. While support for allowing those with jobs to stay and apply for legal status is down among most demographics, Republicans are the driving force behind the dip, down 28 points from a decade ago. Democrats are the opposite. They are more likely to favor allowing them to stay by 4 points. Immigration has been one of three top issues this election cycle, along with abortion and the economy, the top issue. The, the Fox News survey is no different. 40% put the economy at number one, followed by 17 for immigration and 15 for abortion. No other issue reaches double digits. When asked to name the single most important issue of factor motivating them to vote, Trump supporters cite immigration 17 and the economy 18 as top motivators. For Vice President Harris supporters, it is dislike of Trump 17%, followed by abortion and protecting democracy 14 each percent, motivating them vote. Just 1% of Harris supporters said immigration. By, one, by 15 point margin, Trump is seen as a better to handle immigration, up from 10 point advantage in September. This advantage is not new, as the new presidential has been constantly beating Harris and Biden on this issue. Still, one reason the presidential race is so close is because roughly 1 in 10 voters who say immigration is their top issue, 9% back Harris as do 1 in 10 who think Trump can better handle the immigration issue, 13%. Overall, Trump has a two-point advantage over Harris in the presidential matchup, 50 to 48% among both registered voters and likely voters well within the margin of error. From the southern border to international wars, Voters are increasingly like to think the U.S. should be doing less than when it comes to Ukraine and its war with Russia. 40% think the U.S. should be doing less, up for 5 points since May and up, for 15, and up 14 points from 2022. Roughly a quarter think we should be doing more while one third say the help is about the right amount. Views on U.S. support to Israel are split. 32% say too supportive, 29% not supportive enough, and 35% say it's not about right. This is about where it was in May, the last time the question was asked, but since November 2023, the number saying not supportive enough has increased. 
21% to 29%, while those saying about right has decreased 45% to 35%. By 13 points, voters view Trump as a better able to handle the war in the Middle East, 55% Trump and 42% Harris. That's up from a seven-point lead in September.